What is up YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is July 4th of 2022. So happy 4th of July to all my viewers out there. Today we are going to be fishing the French Creek, doing something a little bit more local. And we're going to be using a particular kit of Trout Magnet brand. This is the Trout Slayer, this kit right here. So it's basically just little crayfish imitations that are supposed to be really good for catching trout. I've caught a number of trout on them, but we're not gonna be after trout specifically today. This is the 4th of July. The trout are most likely not too active at the moment, at least in this particular creek. This is not a very cold stream. It's not spring fed at all. But the challenge is we're gonna be trying to catch at least two fish on each of the colors that's in this little pack here. Right now you got tied on the white one here. Uh, it's still the morning hour it's about 8 30 or so right now and let me just show you what else is in here real quick so these are the colors we got here we got a natural looking color that you'll see in the top squares we got a black and red flake kind of a greenish purple and blue flake the white one that i got tied on right now and like kind of like a watermelon patterned one and we're gonna be trying to catch some fish on these today i'm thinking mostly the smallmouth bass will show up since these are crayfish imitations the smallmouth love to feed on crayfish in this particular stream uh, but we'll probably run into some other species as well so hopefully we can catch a good, decent amount of fish today so stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy the video but let's get to casting here all right guys first fish of the day is coming up here on the white trout slayer we got ourselves a little smallmouth bass that's what i thought would be coming up mostly today got him right on the side of the mouth right where we want him we're gonna go ahead and take a shot of this guy and then we're gonna let him go but first one on the white trout slayer so let's try and get one more and then we'll switch up come up some colors there you guys first smallmouth about to go back in the water and there he goes I didn't see much action at first as far as fish goes. It started off very slow, but finally starting to see some fish show up in this creek, and I think it's going to get better the further we walk up. But let's see if we can get one more before we switch colors to something a little more natural. White was going to be the hardest one to catch fish on. So hopefully it gets even easier after this. Guys, we got another fish on here. This is a different species this time around. We got ourselves a little red breast sunfish on the trout slayer. Just a little guy, but still cool colors on him. We're gonna take a shot, let this guy go. All right, time to release our little red breast sunfish. Just got him on the inside of the mouth. There we go. Got him unhooked here. And now we're just going to set him back in the water. And he's good to go. Now we caught at least two fish on the white trout slayer. It is time to switch colors. So I think I'm going to go with the black and red flake presentation. So let's get that threaded on there and try that out. All right, guys, we got the black and red flake tied on. And as soon as that hit the water, we caught a bigger red breast sunfish there we go nice fish there we're gonna go ahead and unhook them and let them go All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pop that out real quick nice and easy there he is nice little red breast sunfish back in the water he's gonna go and this is the red and black trout slayer there and that caught that fish as soon as that hit the water. Casting next to this log right here. Got a nice little eddy behind it. Got his fish on, and it's a trout actually. I'm gonna try and get him up. I don't have the net with me. Okay. There we go. 
a welcome little surprise, a nice little trout there. Not the biggest you'll ever see, but it's trout nonetheless. We're going to go ahead and hook this guy and let him go. I guess they do call these things the trout slayers for, the re for a reason. This trout is not very happy with us, but he is swimming back perfectly fine. Once again on the black and red flake. That is our second fish on that particular color, so it is time to switch up. I'm gonna go with the greenish purple and blue flake. And we'll see if we can catch any more fish on that. Adding another species to our repertoire today. This is a fall fish here. Not a very happy one. There he is. Time to unhook this guy and let him go. Alright guys, fall fish getting unhooked here. And back in the water he is going to go. Oh, swam right in between my legs. Time to get some more on the board. Alright guys, we got another smallmouth bass coming up here. This one about the same size as the first one we caught today. not very happy that I hooked him either. There he is. Not a bad little guy. We're just going to go ahead and unhook him. There he is. And back in the water he's going to go. So as the second fish we call him, the green and blue slash purple flake, whatever. Time to switch up to the last color in the box, and that is going to be the natural color. And that should be the ticket to catching a bunch of fish today. Not that we haven't caught a decent amount already, but natural color is always going to be the best in these clear water conditions. Middle of the day. Well, it's not really middle of the day, but the sun's coming up, so it feels like it. Another fall fish on here, guys. This one a bit nicer than the last one. Came on the natural colored trout slayer. Hook popped out nice and easy. Not the most graceful release, but he's back in the water and good to go. Unexpectedly, guys, we got another trout on here. This one about the same size as the last one. Let's see if I can get a hand on him here. Yes, he did not like that, and he just popped off. But I touched him, so it counts. I was not expecting to come in contact with two trout today, but I'll take it. Makes me wonder if I should slide over to one of my favorite trout spots on the creek and see if I could find some more. We'll have to see what time it is once we hit our last hole. Well guys, I jumped spot to a new section of the creek. And this is one of my favorite spots to catch some trout. I don't know if there'll be any left in here, but I hooked into two trout at the other spot. So I figured why not give this a try and see if anything shows up, whether it's a trout or not. But we're going to see what pops up. We're still using the trout slayer in natural color. So it should still be appealing for these fish as there is still a plentiful amount of crayfish at this end as well. But we're just going to see. Cast around and see. Guys, we got a nice little rock bass on here. That's another species for the day. Look how plump that one is. There's another fish in here that I was after, but I don't see how I see him now. I see a trout in here. 
I don't know how eager he's going to be to bite. There's our rock bass there. Let's take a shot of this guy and let him go. All right, got our little rock bass unhooked here. There he is. And off he goes. Back into the water. Guys, fish on. Fish on. It's a nice smallie right here. Not a giant, but a decent one for the creek. All right, there he is. Put up a nice little fight, but he is now in our grasp on the trout slayer. You can see that right at the top of his mouth there. Oh, flipped out of my hands. But yeah, trout slayer deep in the mouth there. Crushed it. Let's go ahead and hook this guy and let him go. All right, guys, our smallmouth bass is unhooked. Let's go ahead and let him go here. Just gonna dip him back in the water. And he's good to go. He went zooming off. I thought I had a trout follow me in off those logs over there, but smallmouth came up and crushed it. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. We've been fishing over here at this new spot for quite a bit now, and there's a fish. I don't think that's a trout, though. That's a fall fish. Yeah. Yeah, we've been fishing at this spot for a little while now. I have not gotten any trout. I've seen one trout, but it is eluding me as per usual does not want to bite at all instead we got this fall fish who is being a pain to unhook but yeah not a bad day today we are fishing with the trout slayer kit it's the same people that make the trout magnet that i use very frequently um, it's just a little bit bigger version in a crayfish type shape same material same everything Jig heads are a slightly bit bigger. Um, I don't think they're too much heavier, but they are a little bit longer so you can hook the jigs through better. This is the natural color. This is my favorite color on the box just because it gets the perfect mix for these clear creeks and catches a good amount of fish when they're biting. So we caught two surprise trout. We caught some smallmouth bass fall fish we caught a rock bass there at the end some red breast on fish so not a bad day as far as species wise goes so we did do some multi-species fishing we'll have to try to catch some bigger fish here in a few days trying to hit some different areas hopefully catch some good bass i tried bass fishing in my last video and it didn't work out all that well the pond I was fishing was not very hot and it was very, very slow bite. <laughs> but um, we did catch a few decent ones in that video. So be sure to check out that previous video. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. We just recently hit 700 subscribers not too long ago. So thank you guys for all the support. I'll continue to pump out videos once school hits. It's going to slow down a bit, but I'm going to still try and get out there and try and fish. Still got some traveling to do this summer. Where I'm going to travel to, I don't know. Hoping to go down to the beach at some point and try and do some fishing off one of the inlets or piers and see what we can do. But yeah, that'll do it for today's episode. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Villa Outdoors.